Listen as I get paid and see just rips the cut with the dough. Still can't afford if I can't sample a dope noise show now. I know the ledge over the edge. I won't fall. This rhyme was designed for the final fall. We got to struggle and fight. Think it's a part time. Who are these people telling us we're the living die? I'm sorry to say, but one day we are gonna die. I don't know about you, but I'm here and I'm gonna try to make the black man understand that we can't get the program back in our hands if a mobile land. You see, it's gonna be hard, but I'm God. I got the proof, the truth. Brothers, so they can join it and come along. Peace, the least, the part, man, is the bad kind. For preaching and teaching the truth to the deaf and blind. But negative brothers, you know, your bass don't bother. Most brothers strive, but I strive harder. These are actual facts. The dominant black, I'm right and exact. I can't attain my brother. Black is back. Black is back. Concerning the 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 black is back. 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 Black is back, black is back, black is back. See, I'm real rough, but I had enough for you popping off with the mouse. I'm out of size, that month, but I hate, I don't believe the right. I do conceive, imagine why your gag is smoking weed. Black man from Asia, I will amaze the crowd, kick it loud, boy. This is not a day job, who, who in the world is gonna stop me? You, you souped up, sucker, you slipping, you sloppy. Rhymes are retarded, separated, departed from real, they unreal. Don't get me started. I start unleashing my talents. People take a vote, so place your balance. Nine times out of ten, the guard will win. Here's some rules or lose to you. Tell me how you live then. You must be living like a snake in the grass. My name is Lot, a descendant from the tribe of Shabbat. I am original, critical. You want to hear a lyrical menace when this battle go against me? I pity the fool, because fools are those who oppose the right way. The rules I chose to go, nobody knows. I might stay here to endear, persevere with my skill. I'll drill the science itself inside your heaven, then I'll build a strong foundation. Now tell me if I I can't tell you, my brother. Black is back is back. Concerning the black is back. Black is back. Black is back. Concerning the black is back. Black is back. Concerning the black is back. Concerning the black is back. Black is black is black. Between the black revolution black is back and the Negro revolution. Concerning the difference between the black revolution. And the Negro Revolution. Rock, uh, Africa Islam, and Zulu beats, and 
Peace to the gods, you know, they was very influential too. C. Devon, Just Law, the Supreme Team. I don't know if y'all remember Malcolm McLaren, two Buffalo girls, and you know, world's famous. Hey DJ, just play that song. Those are the gods. See, the gods always been active in this music thing. A lot of people don't know, just to put this out there, even before hip hop really got big, gods was in disco groups too. Remember the group GQ? The feelings, right, and the music side, you know what that G and that Q stood for? Gods, Quintessence, Peace, to Raheem and Sabu, two of the singers in that group. Anyway, back to Chill Town. Man, I'ma tell y'all something. When I first got into hip hop, I was listening to them tapes around, when I got in about, mm, I say around the ninth, 10th grade, Chill Town JC was doing it. And I'm talking about around when Run DMC and them first came out. You know, I'm talking like 83, 84, 85, 86. I got tapes and flyers to this day from shows that Cold Crush, Treacherous 3, Sweet Slick and Slide, the Armory building in Jersey City. Me and my people used to catch the train over to Jersey City because when the hip hop culture hit North per se, where I'm from, a lot of cats from North, it took North, you know, some time to really grasp a hold of the hip hop culture, which is actually consists of MCing, break dancing, the way we dress, the way we speak, body language, DJing, you know, it's a way of life. A lot of people mix rap and hip hop up and get it twisted. Rap is one aspect of hip hop. DJing is an aspect of hip hop, the way we dress and our culture, our language and all of that. That's an aspect of hip hop. Hip hop is the umbrella that all of those things fall under, you know. But JC was doing it, man, and um, you know, they they always been instrumental in having hip hop, man. I mean, we used to catch the train in Jersey City when I was in high school just to to hear dudes on the mic because they wasn't doing it that much out there in North where I'm from. I mean, you had a few groups here and there. Uh, surrounding cities was doing hip hop more than we were in North. You had East Orange was doing it big. Uh, cities like Plainfield, you had my man DJ Cheese. They made a record in the early 80s. A lot of people don't know that, you know. They think Jersey started with, per se, me, Flavor Union, Red Man, Naughty, yada yada, whatever. And we're all instrumental in that, but you got groups that was doing it. Like my man DJ Cheese and them was out in like the early 80s and his song was dope and it was played on mainstream radio. Then you had this kid named Hassan from Newark. Hassan is 7-Eleven. A lot of y'all know him as Big Seb now. He grew up under us as Lil' Seven. That's my man, you know, who we Stokes and them family. You know, we used to be over, I used to go over their house. When I was in high school, me and my man Mo, Hossie B, we would chill. We, you know, we cooling out at night, we listening to Mr. Magic, Awesome 2 and all that. So Lil' Seven was a little kid. He used to be right there. I mean, we always knew he was gonna be dope when he grew up to become an adult because hip hop was in his veins from a little baby. But um, back to Chill Town. Chill Town was doing it, man. And um, when I got in the flavor unit, I met 45 King and uh, we actually used to come to Mark House and um, you know, he would invite me over and I would come over there and I'm listening to beats and he would be playing different stuff from different MCs and I would ask him, who is that? He's like, it's my man, you know, whatever, whatever, you're gonna meet them, I'm gonna let you meet them. So eventually, I met Lati, I met Apache, I met Lord Ali Bosky, I met Double J, I met, you know, Chill Rob G and all of them were from Jersey City. And um, eventually I became a member of the Flavor Unit. At that time, we didn't have a name uh, because La T had the single out, This Cuts Got Flavor, and that was like kind of a big song. Chill Rob had a couple of joints spinning on Red Alert shows or what have you. Even Apache had a couple of joints spinning on there. In fact, Apache, Tahid, and my man, um, I forget his name, T, uh, they had a song out before, uh, or well, I don't know if it was before this Cuts Got Flavor came out or a little after, but they did have a song out. So they had a few joints out and, um, you know, eventually we came together. And at that time in hip hop, you had a lot of crews, you had a lot of posses. So they was like Flavor Posse. And I was like, nah, everybody got a posse, you not no cowboys, if anything. We bringing us together, you know what I mean? Latifa from Irvington, me from North, the brothers from Jersey City. I said, you know, let's call it a unity or unit because unit is the root word to 
the word unity and it represents togetherness or what have you. And that's what we represented, togetherness, a collage of MCs that came together under the direction of 45 King Beats. And um, out of everybody in the flavor unit, I got love for everybody. We all have beautiful relationships, but I gravitated to Apache and Lati. Our relationship was a little more closer than my relationship was with the other members of the flavor unit. And through Apache, I learned Jersey City. Apache had me everywhere. I miss Apache to this day, man. It brings tears to my heart just thinking about him because that was my man. Patchy introduced me to Peter Barnes. Patchy had me at Whispers. Patchy had me everywhere in Jersey City. Projects, Curry Woods, you name it. At a time when dudes were shook to go on Curry Woods, Patchy had me all over Jersey City. And I love Patchy for that. And I love my crew from Jersey City. Y'all know who y'all is. My man Reg, Wally B, all of y'all. Sugar Ray, I can't remember all the names. Reg, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? So many of y'all, but I love all of y'all. If y'all watching this, just know Lock Kim got y'all all in here. And I'll never forget because Jersey City is a hip hop town. I always look at Jersey City as like an extra borough in New York. Where is one? Like when I used to spend nights in the Bronx back in 84, 85, I got these tapes. I got tapes with MC from Jersey City, man. So Jersey City has always been instrumental in hip hop. That's like the sixth borough. Don't y'all never forget that. Like they say, New York got five. Jersey City has always been the sixth borough. Trust me when I tell you, Jersey City been putting it down in hip hop for the longest, man. And it ain't gonna stop, you know. And, and they help pioneer me. So I ain't got nothing but love for Jersey City because they embraced me. You know what I mean? When I came out there with Apache, it was all love, man. Nothing but love. Peter Barnes, all of y'all. I love all of y'all. I still remember when they, uh, the first time I met Pete and all of them, it was that Sugar Ray video. A Sugar Ray, I'm ripping the sound correct. Right, <laughs> right, that shit was still we was all at the pit. These niggas smoking the gates with me. What? What y'all know about gates having nothing? Sliding money in front of the door. Get out of here, youngies. Y'all don't know. Y'all is new breed, and I love y'all too. I love these new breed of MCs, you know what I mean? I just want to hear more creativity in the music. It's like, what I don't see in hip-hop is, uh, it's a lack of creativity musically to me. People have gotten away from live instrumentation. People have gotten away from uh, soul and funk. Everything's generic and computerized. You know? With me, I like it gritty, man. I like some of the new stuff, but... To me, hip hop is always gonna be with some funk behind it. I gotta hear James Brown scream something. You know, that's me though. You know, some people say I'm stuck in my era. Well, it is what it is. I like funk music. It can be from this era or from the past. Because past, present, and future are all interconnected. One must understand the past, understand the present tradition, and know what to do to solidify the future. And it's the same thing with music. Music is that thing that we have that bridges all gaps and colorblind. You have little children in the jungles of Indonesia singing. Ain't nobody messing with my clay, clay, and that's the power of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Peace, God. Lock him. Lock him again, and yeah, um, somebody else was very instrumental in showing me a lot about JC. You know, and I did a lot of work with over the years, and I still work with to this day. Y'all need to get at me. Y'all gotta get at me. Uh, and that's my girl, Champagne. She's been putting it down in hip-hop for years, man. It's like, she's one of the person, one of the people, pardon me, that Apache introduced me to when I first came out that way. And um, me and her been, you know, associates ever since. You know what I mean? And, and I've got nothing but love for her, and she's doing a wonderful job. Anybody need to get at me for shows or anything, you can contact her, you know what I mean? But Champagne been putting it down for years. Uh, she's a good person. She's a mother. I've seen her grow in this business. I've seen her go through love, hell of right. You know, that's an aspect of life that we all got to go through. We got to understand the hell that these worlds present, you know, that we deal with day in, day out in order for us to come out right. And who better to understand that than me? Because L is the 12th letter in alphabet. And 
that's what that represented. Love fell right. My name begins with hell, Lock Kim. So I gotta understand the hell. You know what I mean? This world that you're living in hell is what you make it. You gotta be able to come out of it right. And Champagne seems to come out right, man. She's a good woman. She's a mother. And she's doing her thing, you know what I mean? She's a good artist, developer, and if she's into you, she, she goes the extra mile. She works hard to get the job done, you know what I mean? A lot of people have done some shiesty things in this industry, but she don't let that sidetrack her from her goals and her admirations, and that's one of the reasons why I trust in her and why I work with her, you know? She's a good person. I always love her dearly, and she's going to be successful in her overtakings because we're not trying to take the people under her. We struggle to take over that which the devil is coming like. Alright? That's why I'm be successful in my old Peace, Sham. I love you. Keep doing your thing, girl. Hip hop for life.